Okay, hi everyone, welcome to the first video tutorial for the trigonometry topic. Okay, where do we begin? In trigonometry, what we're going to do is look at right angle triangles and we're going to use some very special ratios and we'll be able to use those to find unknown lengths of sides and also we'll be able to find some unknown angles as well. Now before we can do that, there's a really important skill that we need to master and that is labeling a right angled triangle with the relevant sides because we can't really do any ratios of sides without having um, very particular labels so that we know which side is which. All right, so what are we going to do first? Well, obviously I've drawn a right angle triangle here for us to work with. There's one side that we have may have come across before, if we've studied Pythagoras before, we are actually going to, going to already know the name of this side here. So what I'll do is I'll just get our little um, tool ready, just one moment. Here it is here. Okay, so, just one moment disappeared again there it is all right so this one you probably already guessed so use a different color is called the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle which you'll see here and another important feature of this side is it's always the longest side okay Another thing that we'll have with our right angle triangles, which I should have mentioned already actually, is another angle will be given. Now sometimes it's not given, sometimes it's just given as a symbol. Um, other times it will be given as its, its value in degrees. For the moment, instead of just putting any value in there, I can put a special symbol. This is what the symbol looks like. It's a Greek letter. It goes by the name of theta. So I'll just write that on the side just for reference. It's called theta and it represents the angle. Represents the angle. Sometimes this is called the reference angle. Okay, so we've got our triangle. We know that opposite the right angle, we've got a hypotenuse side. We've also got this other angle in here, which is going to help us be able to tell what these other two sides are called. All right, go to your reference angle and look at the side that's opposite that angle. That side is called the opposite side. If you want to make a little note, it is opposite the reference angle or opposite theta. We've got one more side left to label and this that's this one along the bottom here. The side that along the bottom will be next to the reference angle. Another way to say next to is use the word adjacent, and that's what this one's called, adjacent. It's next to the reference angle. You'll also notice it's next to the right angle, so that's another way to tell which side is adjacent. You'll see it's got the, the reference angle theta next to it, and it's also got the right angle next to it. So that's our adjacent side. If you'd like to make a note, I'll just zoom down a little bit for you. You could write next to, next to, theta and the right angle. So there's our three sides. So always locate the hypotenuse. That's the nice easy one, opposite the right angle. Opposite side, remember, it's not opposite the right angle, it's actually opposite theta, this very special angle here, which will be marked in, and then we have the adjacent side down here. So what would be a good thing to do is to pause the video here, and you could copy this diagram into your summary book if you'd like to come back to it later. Okay, once you've copied that, uh, written that into your notes, what we can do is actually have a look at some examples. So here what I've done is actually draw you a range of different right angle triangles and I've put the reference angle theta in there as well. So you'll notice that we don't always get our right angles sitting nicely like the other one was. Sometimes uh, our triangles I should say, sometimes they're rotated around 
and our, our reference angle can be given in different places. So here are some examples. What I want you to have a go at doing is trying to label each of those sides. Now you don't need to use the full word hypotenuse, opposite or adjacent. You can just use H, O or A for short. So pause the video here, copy these triangles into your book and have a go at labeling them yourself before I do it in a moment. Okay, here we go. I'll use a different color just to help. All right, this first one up here. First of all, opposite the right angle, here I go. Hypotenuse, easy. Next, I might like to recognize this is the reference angle here. If I go opposite that reference angle, I have my opposite side. And finally, next to the right angle and next to the reference angle or theta, will be my adjacent side, obviously because it's the last one that I haven't labelled. Again, doing this one here, I've got hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. Again, hypotenuse, opposite the right angle, longest side. Opposite, opposite theta, adjacent next to theta. It's really important that you get this right because what you'll find once we start doing ratios if you get this little step wrong, it actually ruins everything. So it's really, really essential that you can get some practice with this and be really confident with it. So I've done the last few there for you. Hopefully you can correct yours now. Fix any mistakes if you made them. Otherwise, that is labeling the right angle triangle. Thanks very much.